You know there is one guy who used to study 6 hours per day for the whole year and still gets only 60% marks in his exams. And there is another guy who used to study only 2 hours per day for the whole year and he gets 90% marks in his exams. So why this happens? Why very few of us can become successful even when we all have the same amount of resources available? Any guess? You may say it's because someone's concentration power is more or someone's focus power is more. I mean someone is giving his 100% and others are not doing that. Right? Now let me ask you one thing. What do you think? The competitors in the Olympic were playing for their countries, among them who doesn't give his 100%. Still someone wins gold, someone silver and someone bronze. So what is the difference between the guy who wins gold and the one who wins silver? If I ask you to say it in one word, what should be your answer? It should be awareness. One of them has a higher level of awareness than others. That's the secret. Look, both the students read in the same school, both have same teachers, same books, same resources. Still one is become able to grasp the knowledge very first while the other is not being able to do so. So why it is happening? Because one is more aware at the time of studying and the other is not. One of them only focus on study at the time of studying, while the other may use to do multitasking at the time of studying. Maybe one is more aware in case of music, but everyone is forcing him to study. And while studying, he is continuously keep thinking about music. Since from our childhood, our parents, our teachers all are forcing us to concentrate on our studies. But no one is telling how. How to concentrate, when there are already lot more other things available that are more interesting than this? You know why? Because they also don't know the answer. So here today, I am going to share the answer with you. How to increase our awareness or concentration or our focus power. It is a three step process. You have to work upon yourself in three different levels. Body, mind and soul. The first one is body. Unless and until your body is with you, you cannot concentrate properly. It is hard to focus on when you are physically ill. So first you have to work on your body. After waking up in the morning, the first thing you have to do is to get rid of the lethargic mood. For this, you can refer to oil cooling or drinking a glass of lemon water. Soon after that, you have to do some basic stretching, a little push-ups or chin-ups. Because if you fail to activate your body in the morning, you will never be able to do so in the rest of the day. And for the whole day, you will be hanging around like a zombie. Now the next one is mind. The body is nothing in itself without the mind. The mind is everything. It is controlling our body. All the energies for our body is supplied by our mind. Mind is the main machine. So you have to learn to use it properly and not to be used by it readily. You are going to try to control the mind, which is the most powerful thing in the universe. So obviously you will need some tools to control this beast. Breath is the thing that connects the mind with the body. And you can control your breath whenever you wish. So here is the key. Breath is the tool that can help us to control our mind. Take a long deep breath before you start doing any job where you need to be stay focused. A very simple technique, still much much effective. Just try it once. Take a long deep breath and gather all your focus from all the different things and then throw it on only one thing that matter most at that time and see the difference yourself. Third and last one is soul. There is a upper limit up to which you can grow by working on the level of your body and mind. But if you want to cross all the limits in this world, then you will have to work on the level of your soul. And the one and only way to do so is meditation. Everything is outside in the level of body and mind, but if you want to work on the level of your soul, you have to look into inside. This is the only way to get the powers from inner self and this thing can transform anyone into a success magnet. And you know it's so easy to meditate. You have no need to jab some mantras or no need to sit in some difficult posture for a long time. Real meditation is sitting peacefully somewhere and observing what is going inside. Observing what are the thoughts currently running in the mind. In fact, meditation is like a game of watching our thoughts. Just try it once and see. The moment you try to watch your thoughts, it vanishes. Because of the fact that all the thoughts are just illusion. That's called real meditation. 
So now if I summarize the whole video to increase our awareness, focus or concentration power, we have to work on three levels. In the level of body by exercising and proper dieting, in the level of mind by using our breath as a tool and in the level of soul by meditating. At the end, a little request to you. If you feel this video is worthy, then please share it with your friends on WhatsApp or Facebook and leave a comment below shared. This will help me to recognize how many of you were along with me to share Sandeep sir's words. For more videos, click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Aasan hai.